Hi and welcome back to the channel. This video is about two polar opposites. Basically, it's about the sheer determination in getting something done despite many setbacks, as it is about taking a step back because life has thrown so much at you, things got out of control and accepting that. Now, as you know, or may know, in my previous videos, I was training for an ultra marathon, got sick and was unable to join the event. My plan was to do it shortly after getting better, uh, five days after getting better, actually. And as I documented it, let's see how I did. Hi, welcome to the channel. So I started my ultra today, just taking a break to eat something. Uh, I'm about 10K in. While I'm eating, I power walk, speed walk, or hike. Because um, it's not worth gasping your breath while you're running to try to eat something. Plus, for most people, ultra runs really are part walking, part hiking as well. Very few people actually run the whole thing or compete in this. For many people, as it is for me, this is a personal victory, personal goal. Something you wonder, can I accomplish it? And setting a goal for yourself. So I'm about 10k in, feel great, obviously. Um, not very far yet, but it's nice to knock off the, the kilometers, the miles. And uh, mixing in a little bit of walking here and there. Not forcing it, it's a long way to go. And uh, so far the weather is great, nice and cool, because I overheat real easy, but it's dry, so can't complain. Okay, sit rep it was raining for quite a while. I didn't want to uh, bother to GoPro. Also, the case the GoPro is in is not actually waterproof. Um, so it's raining for an hour and a half, two hours. Kept playing along, felt great. Um, right now we're at mile 30, 48 kilometers. Uh, so we're well over halfway. And uh, feeling good. Had a big refuel. Uh, at kilometer 43 just over halfway and I'm following all the same rules as um, the actual event that I was going to do so halfway through you got a drop bag you can change shirt change shoes change socks uh, put new cream on this and that unless you carry it in your backpack which are some of those things I did anyway so I had a nice refuel end up taking a little longer than I thought but right now, I'm just over six hours in and I'm at 48 and a half kilometers. So I'm well on track. Uh, in the race, I got 16 hours to complete this. It's kind of counting on 12. It might be less. Um, although I, I do feel myself slowing down, having to take a little bit more breaks. And my pace is uh, definitely slowing. So we'll see. Either way, still having fun. It's a nice adventure out and I really like to reach this goal. <sighs> 55k and I'm feeling it. It's starting to get pretty hard. Lots of uh, blisters on the feet, uh, swelling up, lots of friction despite the uh, fresh socks and, and cream and all that on the feet so uh but working through it just uh some more breaks and more walking <clears throat> now people ask me why i do this right especially because um, i missed the event due to illness why why didn't bother i don't want to use the illness as an excuse i didn't set the goal to do it at the event for anyone else i set the goal for myself I wanted to know if my body is able to do it, and even more importantly, if I'm mentally strong enough to do this. If you're an athlete, you're a well-rounded athlete, you're a hybrid athlete, and you test yourself in different ways, you're always looking for other ways to test yourself. Now, there's gonna be a limit 
also with time and balancing life and you have a family and you don't want to do anything stupid or dangerous or you don't want to take too much time away from other things in your life hence the four pillars were, which I talked about in another video but this is a goal that suited me I could train at night um, or early in the morning and I could test myself as a hybrid athlete and see if I could do it now I knew it was going to be hard and knew from kilometer 40 to 60 it's going to get hard it's going to have to it's going to slow down a lot from 60 to 80 I didn't even know what to expect because I'm in complete um, unknown waters here right but over 55 kilometers so um, I do another 10 then I swing back around for a quick for you know another quick refuel to put in my bag another battery for my light and then uh, then it's only a short distance that's kind of mentally I'm dividing it up to to set my goal that way one more thing about setting these goals now it's not because you want to be a hybrid athlete you have to set these goals or goals this big you can set a lot smaller goals the whole point is you want to see what your level is challenge yourself in a smart and responsible way and always keep challenging yourself the second you you stop challenging yourself you stop being curious you stop learning you stop questioning things or trying to improve yourself it's not a good place to be so always look what else can I do don't make it an obsession keep it healthy but always make sure you have goals update 60k 20k to go um, feeling okay I actually ran quite a while energy's down uh, the biggest problem are blisters got a big heel blister that's making it pretty hard I know with every step I'm making it worse so when I change out the battery for my headlamp for my headlight I'm gonna apply some of the blister pads and that should get me through the last 20 and uh, you know last 20 it is what it is if I have to make the blister a little worse so be it needless to say it's gonna feel really good being able to accomplish this even though I couldn't do it on the event day doing it by myself uh, as I said in my other videos got pros and cons it's nice to do it closer to home uh, at the same time you don't have that adrenaline and that atmosphere of doing it with all the other ultra runners uh, on a nice um, on a nice route that's that's new to you which makes it more exciting um, so it's pros and cons but I'm really happy to be able to do this especially someone with my build uh, it's not as simple being uh, as big as I am and doing these distances that being said muscular joint wise everything feels great just a matter of keeping my energy high just eating a ton constantly drinking a lot and the really interesting thing is uh, it's pretty chilly it's not too cold it's about eight degrees Celsius um, and I'm drinking so much and I still don't have to urinate a whole lot and I don't feel like I'm sweating that much but it must be because I'm drinking so much and uh, I still feel myself being thirsty and not really urinating enough so I'm doing my best drinking as much as I can which is a lot and uh, eating very regularly it's getting harder and harder to really stuff down the food because the body is just so so done it just shouting on all, on all sides so um, that being said you know perfectly clear mentally so um, I don't feel in danger I don't feel like uh, it's a hazard I'm uh, perfectly fine I'm not hallucinating again at 60k you have guys running 130 150 miles I mean you know this is an 80k that I'm doing but I'm at 60k right now so but again I'm not an ultra runner and I'll never be an ultra runner 
So for my personal goal, within my personal program, within my personal uh, situation, I'm, I'm very happy I'm attempting this and I hope I can finish it. Now, needless to say, I'm very happy with the fact I completed the ultra marathon. I did it by myself and uh, showed determination into doing so. Uh, so I'm happy I reached my goal, happy I did it, happy to add it to the list of uh, things that I've done in my athletic career. Now, after the ultra marathon, I took a week off. Um, just really didn't do much, did some walking, maybe went to the gym once. Um, just kind of gave my body rest. I had the blisters, which, you know, was fine. Um, but then it all went downhill from there. Shortly after, uh, we got sick again, or my kids got sick, and it was the holidays, so that was not so much fun. Then shortly after that, after slowly trying to get back into a rhythm, um, one of my kids got hospitalized with RSV and COVID. So needless to say, between not being able to train, not wanting to train, uh, the emotional distress and lack of sleep, the stress, everything combined, training was the last thing on my mind, as it should be. So I was taking care of uh, the other kids and my wife was with uh, the child in the hospital for six days. So that was uh, extremely rough. So it's amazing how you can run an ultra marathon um, quite well. And then within a month, your whole life gets turned upside down. Um, from a purely training perspective, which is really the least important factor in the equation, um, you know, I gained six, seven pounds. Uh, my fitness has gone down dramatically. Now, it took me two and a half weeks to really start feeling like myself again in the gym. Now, that happens, that's life. It just, uh, you can't control everything. It's just something that may happen. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. Hopefully, if it happens, it's for a lot less serious reasons than, than this one. By the way, um, everyone is fine, thankfully. <laughs> um, I actually had COVID as well. I only found out afterwards. Um, but that took a toll on me as well, really. That was before the hospitalization. And um, what you do in, in, in this situation really is you just keep showing up. The first uh, session back, I felt awful. Uh, I was down at least 10% of strength. I had no cardio in between sets, which is something I pride myself on. I can recover very quickly, so I can really outwork most people in the gym. That was all gone. But as I said, within two and a half weeks, just by showing up, I feel back to where I was before. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that. But the first two, three, four, five sessions, really 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 sucked so you feel awful you can't perform your strength is down your cardio is down but regardless you keep showing up that's really what it's about it's not about how many workouts can i get done in the next three months it's about how many years or decades can i consistently stay active um, have a rhythm perform a certain amount of physical activity every week, every month, every year. That's what matters. So if you keep showing up, everything ends up working out. So I'm back at pretty much where I was before. I'm feeling strong, my cardio is better. I do want to start running and uh, biking. I'm biking a little bit inside, but I want to start running again too. Now my goal is to give it another few weeks, just really try to feel right. And then um, I'm planning on spending the next several months, the spring and so on, really focusing on strength training uh, because I truly love it. And complementing that once or twice a week, maybe three times a week, depending on, on the weather and, and activities uh, on additional uh, cardio. 
Okay, so that's indoor cycling, outdoor cycling, or running, and so on. Um, because it's also something I truly enjoy and it helps me tremendously. Now, in a few weeks, I'll probably start a creatine cycle just to really boost that strength training. It's been a while since I've done one, so that's really gonna boost. I know my weight's gonna go straight up because of it due to water weight, due to the cells retaining water in the muscle, uh, which has a lot of benefits also. Um, so that's kind of the plan, so I'll keep you posted.